So let's look now at what kinds of things do get targeted to you based on social networking. Obviously, your friend recommendations, right? How do your friend recommendations work? Well, here's a person who's not in your network, but they, um, they know a lot of the same people you know. Shouldn't you be friends with them? Right? A very obvious and clear way of using the social network to customize or make suggestions or do things on your site. Um, another one um, that you see here under um, uh, 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 Eno Likes Babies Are Us is using what people have liked in order to give you an incentive to check that out as well. Well, if Inno likes um, Babies R Us, then I'll probably like Babies R Us too, so I should check that out. Now, I, I get this one from Inna, and on, on this ad and a few others, um, uh, pretty often on my Facebook page, and she's a, she's a student of mine, actually, and I asked her, like, how did that happen? What did, um, you know, did they ask you about that? Did they pay you for that? Um, you know, how's that, how's that working? And she basically told me that at some point they, they asked her, was it okay to have her uh, featured in ads? And she said yes, and now she has no idea which ads she's featured in or how she's being used on Facebook. So Inna is actually being used extensively by Facebook in order to target ads to her friends, people who have friended her on Facebook. And it's not necessarily that she wants to be. And she was kind of surprised and a little abashed when I talked to her about it because it wasn't exactly what she wanted to do. But the point here is that her liking something and the fact that she's my friend, you might infer that, well, if she's your friend and she likes something, then it's more likely that showing you in the context of this ad is going to get you to be more responsive to it. That's a way your social network is being used in order to target ads to you. And then there's... Um, there's, the, there's a little bit more straightforward ones like Mark used this uh, application and Seth used this other application, so might you want to use this application? Now, I don't want to be, I don't want to pass judgment on these things, and I think it's really more up to you to figure out whether, is that a good thing or a bad thing? So let me give you this kind of idea about, um, about targeted ads. Um, and I don't think it's as straightforward as saying, well, that's really evil that they do that because maybe it matters to me. And maybe, you know, I think Seth's really, you know, he's really an awesome guy. And if he uses this thing, I want to use it. So whether or not this is good information to me or whether this is manipulative, I think is really in the eye of the beholder. Of course, Facebook will tell you that it's not manipulative at all. It's really what you want. You want to know what your friends are doing because that's the major reason why you do things. On the other hand, it undoubtedly helps the advertisers and it undoubtedly gives them a little bump to present the pictures of your friends associated with their ads. So I'll leave it, I'll leave it vague and I'll, I'll give you a chance to, to work through that issue for yourself and decide in what cases is this moral, in what cases is this reasonable, and in what cases it, um, is it pernicious and you don't want to have it happening at all. Not up to me to make that decision. That's really, um, that's really for 